To find the surface area of a cube or a cuboid, we're going to use that same formula from the previous example. Surface area equals 2 times length times width plus length times height plus width times height. Let's use this formula to find the surface area of the below rectangular prism. Remember, a rectangular prism is the same thing as a cuboid. So in this rectangular prism, the dimensions are not given to us explicitly. We have to count the cubic units in order to find the dimensions of this rectangular prism. So the width of this prism is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 units. The length is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units. And the height is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units. So if I plug these numbers into the formula, I would have 2 times 8 times 4 plus 8 times 12 plus 4 times 12. And since order of operations tells me to deal with my parentheses first, I'm going to multiply those numbers inside the parentheses and then add those numbers up. So the surface area equals 2 times 176. If I do out that multiplication, I get 300, sorry, 352 cubic, or rather, square units. Square units. I can also write that as units squared. Remember, there's also an alternative formula. You can simply add up all of the sides of the rectangular prism together to get the surface area. So if I add up the different areas, the top area is 32 square units, and the bottom is also going to be 32. So that's just 2 times 32. Then the front of the prism is going to be 96, because 8 times 12 is 96, and so is the back. So that's simply 2 times 96. Lastly, the side is going to be 4 times 12, which is 48. So it's 2 times 48. And if I multiply and add these numbers out, I would get 352 square units as well. So really, both ways give you the same answer for finding the surface area of a rectangular prism or a cuboid.